welcome back guys so in the previous video we have seen the usage of the external database now we're gonna see why we created the three users now let's take the web methods product as a whole so I'm just gonna navigate a bit down here and in the web methods product as again we had uh, uh, quite a quite a product components like uh, like you have trading network like you have trading network right so let me minimize that a bit okay then you have <coughs> archive no, not sorry I'm sorry optimize optimize these are the products right optimize then you have the is and many more so we'll just stick on to these three as of now right so as a best practice um, one of the best practices is that disintegrate that that's what I'm gonna call it so you disintegrate the, the components based upon your certain uh, based upon the respective users again why flexibility that's the main thing uh, it gives you a lot of flexibility in managing and even reading it when I say reading so let's take an example now in this database oops right so assume in this particular database Oracle database you say that you create a user um, and I'm gonna say the username uh, do we have any search button here I don't think so right so I'm gonna create a user okay I'm gonna create a user by name say web methods okay web methods <coughs> and since I'm externalizing the database okay all the tables that are associated for trading network trading network is and optimize say it gets created it is it gets created within this particular user which is the web methods user assume that it gets created for the web methods user right that's what we'll assume Oops, okay this is too bad okay <laughs> right so assume that it gets created for the web methods user and you say that uh, we, let's assume optimize has around 15 tables and is well, I think it has more than 25 tables and trading network again has more than 10 tables I'm just making it up so within one user right you have totally 50 tables now when the when 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 it goes for a production support and when you want to check out certain aspects of the components now my question would be that how will you navigate to so many tables where do you search it um, and and one user is taking the load of all the product components so what about the space sizing caching lot of things would come into picture right so we don't want to do that we don't want to do that so the best way that I've that I've seen so far in the <coughs> industry practice is that they organize the components or they group the components what I mean you say that I have I have trading network Oops. so I have trading network and I have IS and I have BPM BPM let's call it as one group that is let's call it as one group okay I have MWS I have MWS let's call it as another group or M optimize I have optimized let's call it another group so we group that out okay so we group that out and once we group that out ideally we'll say that hey you know what since the grouping has been completed let's create a user for is and for t for mws and optimize right we'll say let's create a user for this um is there a way how we can send back just checking that out or in send to back good perfect so we'll say that create a user user for group one group one now in the similar way I will create let me color that out okay I'll create another user 
for this particular group. this is group 2 now we have two groups right so the username the username i'll create for this group is i'll say wm i'm just making it up wm webm i web is and i'll call this as web mws and for archive i have created another user so this is how we have we thought about it and we are going to group it now based upon this um we have created three users in our previous tutorial if you have gone through it so we have created three users the first user is web is and the second user is web mws and the third user is web archive that's the three users and based upon the groupings of it we have created the three users and we are going to segregate it that's the reason um that is a, that was one of the intention why we see why you have seen that uh, we kind of created those users right so now once the users is created once the users are created you need to tell that hey for this particular user for this particular user please create the tables for trading network please create the tables for bpm and please create the tables for is and for this particular user please create the tables for mws please create the tables for optimize and for archive please create the respective tables so we need to instruct or tell somewhere to create the tables right without instructing or or giving the information how to create the tables the web methods would would not automatically perform anything because if you remember here this call bit about we have externalized the database since we have externalized the database which means that user has the control on how to manage with the tables that includes even creation of the table recreating the table dropping the table or cascading the table all of that if you have selected an embedded database say if you have gone for an embedded database which is here then you don't need you don't have the pain to do it you don't have like you don't need to take any pain to instruct to create the tables drop the tables or anything it would have taken care by itself but since we have selected as external database which means that since we have selected the external database which means the user which is you you have to tell that please create the tables okay you have to tell the please create the create the tables and to do that there is a component within there is a script that is provided by the web methods itself and that script name is called as db configurator right db configurator and again if you guys remember that is the reason i had specifically asked you to select the db configurator component at the time of the installation so that by using db configurator you have the flexibility to to create the tables and where does it reside let me open where it has installed so navigate to the install folder common db bin this is where it has been installed so the path of db configurator is the installation folder i'm just going to take that out installation folder common db and bin that's the path where it has been installed now there are two flavors of it as you can see here you have ui.bat and .bat ui as the name suggests for it's it has user interface and dot no the one that doesn't have ui it's called non user interface we are going to work with user interface and i'm going to teach you how to use the non in non user interface as well in non user interface you need to execute certain commands whereas in user interface you have to just uh, just uh, play with the ui that's it so that's about db configurator now 
um, I, I'm gonna stop this video here I think it's uh, it has taken quite some time now so in the next video we are gonna talk more about the DB configurator and see how we can proceed further on that yeah all right guys thank you hope you enjoyed this session